Um, here's a, a just applauded uh, residential building restrictions on the x axis and state price parity since the cost of living. And you see an extremely strong relationship by state. Um, so the more restrictive your land use regulation, the more costly is housing in your, or is not just housing, everything. Your total cost of living is higher in your state. Here's New Hampshire right here. So relatively restrictive, relatively expensive. Zoning and migration, the, the more residential building restrictions you have as a state, the lower is your net migration rate. In fact, the most restrictive states tend to have net out migration, more people moving out of the state to other states than moving into the state from other states. Um, and this relationship is actually even stronger in causal terms than it appears here because places that have a lot of in-migration also tend to be the ones that then start regulating more. So a history of migration positively affects regulation, and then regulation in turn negatively affects uh, migration. So this, the true causal effect is quite a bit steeper here. Um, so if you want to drive people away from your state, residential building regulations are, are a good way to do that. Um, zoning and per capita income, there's a positive relationship here. So if you have stricter building restrictions, you have higher per capita income by state. Does this mean that um, your economy is more productive because you have more zoning? No, that's not what's happening here. Remember, people are moving away from these states. People are moving away from richer states to poorer states right now in the US. Why are they doing that? Because the richer states are more costly. So what you're doing, you're raising your per capita income by driving away middle and, and lower income families, reducing your population. It's not, you're not growing your economy by, uh, by implementing these uh, building restrictions, but what you are doing is segregating the, the country more by income. 